so let's get to it right now. Let's get to it and see what we got. Oh, this one's heavy. All right, we got some books, but what else do we have in here? Statement from the Manger. The Manger of the K Real Estate. See, maybe it's a nice crucifix or something. Ooh, that is nice. Look at that. Whoa, that's a big Nicorette package right there. Oh, Nicorette gum. Hmm, should I, guys, should I put my mouth on that? Eh, this thing's been sitting a few years. I think the germs are dead. Let's try this. You ready? Oh, oh, we got a bank. See that? Pineapple juice, Hawaii. It's just like SpongeBob's house. Oh, what is this? Look at this. That's broken chain plaque. Well, broken also is another theme of this locker. <laughs> this is something bigger right here. Turbo Scan 800 by Regency. All right, Locker Nuts, what's up? It's been a few days, but we're back at this unit right here. What I'm dubbing as the hoarder unit, right? Because yeah, it's kind of a hoarder. Anyone who keeps most of their stuff in garbage bags, I think has hoarderish tendencies. But just the amount of direct mail and packaging and just assorted stuff that really should have gone to the garbage, I think qualifies this person as a hoarder. I don't know what the full circumstances are, but we do know that he passed away some years ago and uh, we found great stuff so far. If you haven't watched the last few videos, go back and check them. I'll put a little thing up here to tell you where to start. But uh, yeah, we found some gold. We did, we did, we did. Found this chain right here. I think this is worth about $800 in scrap gold. Came right out of here, out of a garbage bag. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get to it. Let's pop this open. All right, all right. Yeah, some of my stuff's still here, like the car, the table, a few of the big boxes in the back. Let's get all that stuff out. And uh, a little bit of digging's involved before we get to the untouched stuff. Let's get to that in just a second. All right, guys, there we go. Made quite a bit of room, right? Quite a bit of room. It's on my truck. I'll show you that in a second. Mostly empty boxes, a little bit of flea market stuff down there. This little pile right here, this is what we've got left. We got some furniture, flea market stuff, empty box. This is it. All right, so let's get to it right now. Let's get to it and see what we got. Oh, this one's heavy. Let's see. This one's really dirty. Nothing inside. Looks like a pretty decent backpack if it weren't dirty. Very sturdy. Oh, yeah, look at that. You even got the chest strap right here. Um, yeah, it's a decent bag. Maybe we'll donate that. All right, another backpack. A little better condition. Duffel bag looks pretty good. Donate. I think they should put a plaque outside that Sabres location to dedicate me and how much I've kept them in business. <laughs> it's all paperwork in here. Wind him. Uh, someone had a, a timeshare presentation. Maybe someone even bought the timeshare. I don't know. That's a nice, uh, really nice pen. Oh, that's a nice dartboard right there. Oh, nice. Nice, right? This is a baseball dartboard on this side. <laughs> Home run. And then this side's a traditional dartboard. This is kind of nice. Whoa, ho, ho. bunch of first aid stuff. Definitely, uh, when we find hoarder lockers, we see stuff in bags like this bags and bags and bags and you gotta be really careful because they they'll put all kinds of stuff inside the same bags there's some nice gloves right there and a bunch of rubber gloves and then some glass beads so bizarre this locker is taking me ah, quite a quite a while because they got to go through everything so so carefully what's this a motorola I don't know what that is. On messages. This is, could be a, I don't know, maybe a digital answering machine. Nah. TV to the TV VCR. I don't know. Okay. Nice backgammon set. And a chest set. 
guys haven't seen Queen's Gambit on Netflix. Excellent movie. I mean, incredible movie. Not for the kids. Not at all for the kids, but really great movie. I'd highly recommend it. And no, I do not get paid by Netflix to promote their shows. Not yet. <laughs> all right, we got some books, but what else do we have in here? You know, I do like shoe boxes. We found some really nice stuff in shoe boxes before. Okay, there's some, some more glasses, prescription most likely. More prescription glasses, older. A bunch of paperwork, and I will go through this carefully because you just never know where you're gonna find that envelope of cash. And I have found an envelope of cash, and I'm not saying gift card or um, you know, card with cash in it. I found those too. I have straight up found an envelope of cash in a little plastic drawer. I think it was a plastic drawer and it was like kitchen stuff. It looked like it was underneath the phone. Little notepads and things. And uh, there it was in a bank envelope. Like they'd gone to the ATM, pulled it out, put it in the drawer, and completely forgot. Bad boys bail bonds. Somebody got themselves in some trouble. <laughs> Dear tenant, it's the last notification you would ever receive. You must remove the bike from the parking stall immediately. I'm giving or jibing you your last, oh, giving you your last opportunity to do so. This time is effective till Friday, April 1st, 2005. Wow. Please, Abby, the apartment's rules. I think that's abide. Abide. Abide by. Abby, manager. Dude, boy, that's a manager? You got a manager job, and that's your grammar, huh? Oh, here's a full-on, <laughs> so full-on statement from the manger. The manger of the K real estate. Dang, you guys, come on. If you want to be a manager, you probably need a little bit better English, but... Be a manger? Well, I guess anything anything goes. Cross. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's a nice crucifix or something. Ooh, that is nice. Look at that. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Very nice piece. Oh, what is this? This is a Bradford Exchange. And it's numbered 2012. This might actually have a wee bit of value. That's coming home with me. That might make our live auctions or eBay. That's the type of stuff we do put aside. A little bit nicer stuff. Anything collectible. What else we got here? Cross. It says cross. Cross. Chris Cross applesauce. Have some personal photos. Oh, yeah, man, it's all chipped up. Little angel dish. Chip, 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 chip. His name's Chip. Another one. Little chipped foot. That's the theme here. Chip, chip, chip. Chip, chip, chip. chip. I wonder if that angel's feeling chipper today. Well, this one. Got any chippy chippies? Nope. This one's all right. Hmm, what's this? Oh, but the other one's a chip, chip wing. No chips? All right. Hmm, okay. Those will go to the thrift store. Donate. There's a nicotine patch. Kind of odd to have that in a bag of socks and bedding, in my opinion. <laughs> that is my opinion. And, it, wow, that's a lot of socks and shirts and probably some undies too. Um, I'll donate that, but I have a feeling they probably kept them for rags. But we'll donate it. Maybe they can sell them as a rag bag. A rag bag. I'm a poet and didn't know it.
That's that's tight right there. <laughs> Those are tight. <laughs> Dad jokes. Whoa, that's a big Nicorette package right there. Oh, Nicorette gum. Locker Nicorette gum challenge in anybody? I think not. I don't think this stuff's cheap, but I think this is too far expired. It's got to expire, right? Here, come on. Oh, one of 18. Hmm. That's actually not that long ago. I'm not considering doing it. I'm just saying, like, that kind of... I don't know. Most of the stuff we found in here was a little bit older. And that was a little bit newer. Hannah socks. Brand new. Here's more snuggly. Snugadoo. Oh, boy. Hemorrhoidal hygiene pad. Trying to decide. Do I need to open this and see if there's a wad of cash in there? People hide stuff. People are weird. This guy's a hoarder. Nope. Those are for your bum. They make your bum feel good. So I've heard. Alright, next bag. Life, pre life preserver, flotation device. That'll get donated. Soma therapy, new generation vacuum therapy. What do we have here? I do not know. I don't know. I do not know. Oh, that's cool. A little flexible light from Brooks, Brook, Brookstone. I don't know why I had trouble getting that out. The Faith Collection. Ten Commandments Rock. And that's what it is. Got the Ten Commandments on a rock. Although it's not a rock, it's a piece of resin. Shaped like a rock. And it's made in China. I'm so surprised by that. I am so surprised. I'm in total shock and disbelief. Here's another Brookstone light. That. Oh, did you see that? It turned itself on. That kind of sucks, actually. I have to turn it off now. Oh, that's the... Ooh. Hmm. Should I, guys? Should I put my mouth on that? Eh. This thing's been sitting a few years. I think the germs are dead. Let's try this. You ready? Oh, that's not easy. What the heck? Serious? Okay, it's broken. Or I'm broken. I would not be surprised by either of those options. There's a New Orleans Saints flag for your for your window and your car. Yeah, this one looks interesting. What do we got here? Okay. CHP stuff. Look at this. I'm trying to make little mascots and things the kids might think are cool. A bracelet. It looks like a bunch of swag that they gave out, probably art and wine festival or something. Drive sober, you know, that sort of thing. Good message. Little money. Keychains. We'll lock those up with some keychains and sell them. They're auctions. Oh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, auctions. We do auctions every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific on our YouTube channel. It's auction time. So we auction off some of the best stuff that we find in lockers, although not so much out of this locker. Because <laughs> there hasn't been that much, really. We found a few good things. Mostly the good things were came in the form of, like, gold and silver. And there wasn't a lot in between. Found some jewelry. Found a lot of junk. Oh, I was almost going to be like, ooh, is that a music... Um, Jewelry box. I mean, there's jewelry in here. Oh my goodness! But nope, fell open. That's actually kind of cool, though. You got a little mother of pearl going on there, inlaid. This piece right here is broken, but that could probably be glued easy enough. That's a nice little box right there. That is not too shabby, and not at all scabby. Aloha from Hawaii. A couple of souvenirs here. Oh. Oh, we got a bank. See that? Pineapple juice, Hawaii. It's just like SpongeBob's house. Let's see if there's SpongeBob inside or if we got some 
Money. <laughs> Come on. All right. I'll take it. 30 cents, guys. That's all it takes to make me happy. My happiness comes cheap. 30 cents and I'm happy. Hap, 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 happy. What else we got here? Hmm. Disney's house mouse. That's a little bit older. Oh, look at the... Lot that up with some vintage toys. It looks older. What's this dude? Oh, the Simpsons. What's this guy's name? Nedry or something like that? The neighbor? With a hook. Cool. This this bag's been a little bit better. Like that. Okay, these lancets again. Diabetic lancets. I know people messaged me and said that these actually have some value. They have an expiration of 2012, though. How can lancets expire? I do not understand that. Steel seal. I think there might be a little value in these things. I'm going to put these aside. Okay. Bunch of empty mini liquor bottles. Okay. What is this thing? Okay, there are a bunch of shell necklaces. That's what it is. And that's what we got. And that's not a shell. Okay, you know what I'm thinking. Aloha, hey. Aloha. Ha. Hawaiian native papers. Frame made out of paper, I guess. Not impressed. Yeah. Overnight bag with, I don't know, some funky junk. Oh, digital Mavica. This little, um, oh, what is this? Look at this. That's, uh, interpolated megapixel images. Ooh, that sounds fancy. But I don't think it is because this is hecka old. <laughs> it's kind of neat looking though. MVC FD83. Wow, okay. That is neat though. I think it's a video camera. No, it says right here digital still camera. That's a very, very old digital camera right there. We'll put that aside. We like to lot up cameras and I know so little about them so sometimes I'm surprised by their value and sometimes or more times than not. I'm not impressed at all. Broken chain plaque. Well, broken else is another theme of this locker. <laughs> Lots of items were broken. Broken chain. Oh, okay. Nah, it's, it's... That means something different. All right, donate. Hmm. A little vacuum. <laughs> oh, boy. I think we're getting down to the last one. Yeah, this is all tools for the flea market. Records that we have to go through. Personal items to return. Furniture, I don't know. Okay, well, let's get to it. Made in USA, that's a good sign. Lacrosse, these are some good rubber boots right here. We found that brand before. Definitely good, good stuff to have. If you're stuck in the mud or rain, this stuff got some electronics. And. Boy, this one looks like it's left in the mud somewhere, but that's a CB, right? Realistic, that's a Radio Shack brand. GE Mobile CB Transceiver. Very nice. Okay. What's this? This is something bigger right here. Turbo Scan 800 by Regency. It looks pretty interesting. Oh, is this another one? Oh, I hope, I hope those have value. I've got two of them. GE Communications. What does that connect to? There must be another part that plugs in here and is the... I don't know. Randy's Scanner. Okay, so this is a radio scanner, right? For like, uh, seeing like emergency responders and stuff. Very interesting. I hope it has some value. Um, these three pieces. This one's dirty, but these ones just look like they're dusty. This one looks like it's dropped in the mud. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, well that's cool. Not super cool, but it's alright. It's alright. 
All right, and there's a very similar one. It doesn't look exactly the same. And it says tested, so they did get it to work. It's not the same, I don't think, but 35 bucks plus $25 shipping. We're not talking about big, big, big money, but decent little value there. We'll just bring it to the flea market. <laughs> I keep taking stuff out and putting stuff back in. It doesn't look like the piles go down, but there are three large boxes completely empty in there. I don't want to flatten them down because I like having those big boxes to work with. This locker had all these garbage bags, so I didn't need them as much, but uh, there's a little bit of junk here that I got to deal with, like the tire. I still hope the wheel works for my trailer, but I got a tire. I got bottles of chemicals like oil and transmission fluid. I got to dispose of that stuff properly. There's some more stuff in here to go to the flea market or garage sale. Um, but all the donations on my truck, I enjoy it. I like the maybe a little OCD-ish. I'm going to wrap this up right now. And I'm going to start getting to those errands. I got a phone call and I almost forgot to show how much stuff I'm bringing to donate. Look at that. My whole truck bed and back seat is all full. All right, guys, we are at Savers to donate and there's a little bit of a line. There's four cars in front of me that it's not too bad. And uh, I like donating here because a portion of the proceeds goes to epilepsy research. You probably heard me say that many times in the videos before, but that's a good cause to us because we do know a couple people that are close to us that have epilepsy so uh, we appreciate that at least a portion of the proceeds go there and um, also it's super easy because it's close to my house you drive up there's no hassle the employees are nice usually not always but usually usually versus goodwill where they're almost always rude to you uh, at least the one here and uh, they're not too picky so Usually they'll take whatever I got, but every now and then they say no books, no furniture, if they're overloaded. But um, usually they're pretty easy going because this is a big store. They move a lot of stuff, and they're usually very busy. So they can take a lot of stuff, and that's good for me. That's how we do it. All right, there it is. There it is. The clean plate, the blank canvas. All right, for the next artist to come and paint their picture here. 
<laughs> the next storage artist can come and paint their picture here. Uh, I've got it ready for them. Well, it needs a broom sweep, but I don't got a broom. So anyways, that one's a wrap. Feels good too. Ooh, got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. I still have some junky junk I gotta figure out though. That stuff really takes a lot of time. The tire, the chemicals, just a little bit of garbage, but that stuff can't go to the dump. So let me show you what I got in the van here. Yeah, that's a pretty good load. It's not packed like super, super good, but it is, it's really nice having the van where I don't have to worry about packing things like super carefully. You know, it just, it just fits. All right, guys, there's the empty van. Well, almost empty. There's a few boxes. Those go home with me to look up and get listed and maybe make our live auctions. This box of old clothes, especially, we'll have to go through that a little carefully. See if there's any really, really good stuff. Check out my storage locker. Ooh, man, it's starting to get full. It is, it is. All right, it's, back there is not terribly full. I have personal stuff back there and a couple bikes. Those bikes that I pulled out of the $3,000, my old unit. Um, yeah, but the rest of it, everything that you can see pretty much is flea market stuff. Stacks are getting tall and they're getting close to the front. So you know what that means? It's time to either have a flea market or a garage sale here very, very soon. Because I only have a little bit more room to add. Now I've got another unit here and that one's got a lot more room. But this is where I like to stick the flea market stuff. Uh, I have a little bit at the other one, but I prefer it to all be in one place. And this is... What I've designated this is a 10 by 20 so yeah I've got to get I've got to get out somewhere and start selling this stuff it's mostly all good stuff like the stuff you saw me donate earlier that's dollar two dollar three dollar items sometimes higher but if it's big stuff like bedding and stuff we can sometimes get a little bit more but it just takes up so much volume this is better stuff this is three four five ten twenty dollar items and I think it should uh I think it should make some for some pretty good days coming up selling days um Flea market would be easiest. Garage sale is the most money because people spend a little bit more at the garage sales than they do at the flea markets. At least the flea markets we've been going to lately, which are the only flea markets that are open. Our upscale flea markets have been closed for some time. So anyways, a little bit limited on our options, but it doesn't matter. I got to take advantage of what I have available and make this stuff go away. And when we do, we will film it and either put out a video covering it or maybe do a live we love doing live garage sale videos. They're fun. Usually I have the whole family there to help uh, pass the camera around and make sure no one steals. And they do steal at the garage sales too. They do. All right, guys. Well, we'll do that as soon as possible. And we'll have videos on that as well. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Laga Nuts. Thanks for watching. You know what got me is that little doll's hand right there sticking out like... Help me. There's a black mirror or something right there. Look at this. It's a newer one, but that frame that it's that cost somebody a couple hundred bucks, that frame. Yeah.